Hello guys, today I proudly want to show you uh, this new mesh testing device. Um, I started to make this, uh, I found the base design the, from Gendemic and first up it was not free to remix and reshare it. I did not check that, I started working it maxing the hell out of it and in the end I just um, realized oh god damn it it's, it's exactly the opposite it's not allowed to share or remix I got in contact with Gendemic and they allowed me to share this remix so big shout out to Gendemic thanks again for letting me share my remix with the world this little fella is pretty much the most maxed out Haltech V3 device for its size out there right now. I know no other um, build or device with that size packing that many features and specs. So let's start. First off the build size. It is kinda chunky, yes, but it's still easy manageable. So when I compare it with Mootsies H1 it's really it is bigger of course but it is not that bad actually I also have Tony G's Heltec V3 and there's really no much difference actually so okay let's get to the specs this baby packs two 18650 cells with 3500 milliamps each that means that in this little guy are 7000 milliamps and for a Heltec device, this is amazing because we all know Heltec devices really are power hungry at times. Okay, that's that that's that's one big that that's a great thing to start up. But we got more. Um, what I did, I added this antenna base protection here, uh, so the antenna is protected the base. I also added on top a notification LED. The main switch was already there. I kept it of course because you can completely switch it off which is awesome I added a little uh, navigation switch for canned messages I already opened it before that's why it did not turn up here we go we have, we have canned messages and we can control them over here so that is pretty cool actually takes almost no space at all other than that, we have GPS in here. Up here, it's GPS and Baidu, dual GPS receiver module. We also have a, um, a G, damn it, um, BM, BME280 uh, telemetry sensor, which measures air temperature, humidity, and air pressure. We got this nice little metal. I put that one on pretty much all of my designs lately. <laughs> it's really. Um, what else do we have? Yes, um, I replaced the original Heltec uh, Wi Fi and Bluetooth antenna with an actual PCB antenna that is all the length behind in here. So the range now is like easily four or five, six times. I, I can leave that one on the table and I can leave the room I can go in the next room in the kitchen uh, the connection does not break off before it was I just had like go around the corner and pretty much the connection the Bluetooth connection was terrible this is now amazing with this big antenna on the side uh, there's a little bump here there's where the GPS motherboard sits behind I also added like the Meshtastic powered logo here uh, what else do we have? We have, of course, oh yeah, I added a MOSFET, that's by the way the telemetry sensor, and you already saw the GPS sensor, works great. Um, I also added like um, the status light, um, drillings, which I feel, drillings, Jesus Christ, what the fuck, I, uh, I made two holes and I used a transparent filament and use them as optical fiber so you can nicely see when you charge it and uh, the breathing light or just the status light in general. Um, I did some changes to the buttons as well. The user button I lifted a little bit so this one is easy to press. 
and the reset button is really hard to press it's, you have to press it really hard I'm not gonna press it now but I made it hard to press because when do you really need to reset your device uh, next to that in here now sits a, a vibra motor so we can test that actually if, if I can fire that one up because I did put let me send a message and let's hope uh, you can hear uh, next to the let's yeah, I hope you you can hear the, the vibra there uh, of course the buzzer is also something I added this little hole up here and right beneath it sits the buzzer I guess that it is yeah well, 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 well no no that's not it oh my god uh, for aesthetics, I added like a TPU seal here. Uh, it's not really waterproof, but it looks cool and makes it somewhat more waterproof. But this is nothing at all, uh, not at all waterproof. And now comes the really cool thing. So you got well, 7,000 milliamps in here. When you charge 7,000 milliamps when it's empty with the onboard Heltec charging circuit, this is like it's charging with 3.5 watts max in best case scenario really this would take forever so what I did was uh, first of all yeah look at that this is a TPU foot it's a protection for the USB-C and for this one this is a pogo pin connector it's magnetic and it is directly connected to the Insights battery uh, uh, battery management system so I also designed this here this is a little charging cradle and there's a, a, a charging I see in here that charges the the, the Maximus the, uh, by the way that's the name of it yeah that's the that's the Junkie Maximus that's its name exactly from the remix from the original Gendemic design and what you do is simply connect USB-C to it and you simply there it is. Slots in, stands nicely on the table. As you can see, this is flush with the flap that's bent backwards. And this baby charges now with 15 watts, which is freaking amazing because you can still charge it normally over the USB-C. If you feel like, you can also update uh, the, the firmware and everything like before. But if you want to charge fast, and also it's super aesthetic, if you put this on the table, it looks super nice. It's a nice little charging cradle. And it's quick connect, super reliable, and you can charge the Chunky Maximus up five times faster than with the original um, uh, charger. Yeah, and antenna is the Gisant, of course. But yeah, that's it, pretty much. This is the Chunky Maximus, the most feature-packed Meshtastic Heltec V3 device for its size out there as of now. If you know any device that has more uh, features and cool stuff in it, and it's not bigger than this, show me, I want to see. Because this one's awesome. Everything... Uh, for this to build is in the links below. It is an advanced build. There's a lot to solder. There's a lot of stuff inside. But I promise you. Oh, oh! I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, the original display on top is protected by one millimeter acrylic uh, sheet that uh, fits also underneath here. So it is not directly exposed, you can see it because the original screen has some milky shine to it, but this now is like super flat because there is one millimeter acrylic sheet on top and it is super easy to change. You just like open those screws, you can like get acrylic sheet one, one millimeter thick easily. You cut it with, with a sculpey, break it on the, on the cutting line and replace it if this one gets scratched or damaged. Super easy. So yeah, everything's in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I would really love to see when you uh, built this, please post a make or anything, because I want to know what you think of it and if you like it. So, thanks for watching, have a good one, blah blah blah, bye bye.